Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tiangong Live. I am Zi Qingma. It has been widely observed that enterprises are increasingly relying on private lines for cloud access and inter-site communication, especially when it comes to their high-value services, as private lines provide low latency and high bandwidth transmission. Medium-sized enterprises often use one fixed network private line due to high cost. Large enterprises and the public service sector in construct often use two fixed network private line, each from a different carrier, for side-to-cloud and side-to-side -side services. In special cases, for example, a natural disaster occurs, such as a tornado or earthquake. Excise side optical fibers are damaged by construction activities or multiple carriers share excise side optical fibers. High value service of enterprises may be interrupted. This is where 5G networks characterized by ring networking and large numbers of excise sites come into play. How can we integrate the features of 5G and fixed network slicing solutions to provide high reliable solutions for enterprises? Today, I'll be talking about Huawei's intelligent cloud network solution for 5G fixed mobile convenience or FMC. This solution delivers continuous connectivity for high value enterprise services. This is the artifacture of our intelligent cloud network solution for 5G FMC, which consists of the OSS, BSS domain management system and network. The OSS, BSS domain management system orchestrates fixed and mobile networks and interconnect with the controller to automatically develop talent service on the network. Network devices include those on the slide-based fixed network and those on the mobile network. On the excise side of enterprise branches, Huawei Cloud CPEs converge the fixed and 5G networks. SRV6 and slicing are developed between the CPEs and Cloud PEs to provide SLA assurance. In normal cases, the SLA of high-value enterprise service is guaranteed through the fixed network. If a fault occurs on the fixed network, for example, the last mile optical fiber is broken during construction activities, high-value service will be switched to the backup 5G network for that part to ensure service continuity. Let's take the intelligent warehousing service as an example. The booming online shopping market is driving the development of smart warehousing. The warehousing management system is developed on the cloud, and the warehouses are scattered across the country. Now, let's look at how our 5G FMC solution actually works in such an environment. Huawei's cloud CPE is developed as an ingress or warehouse network and connected to the fixed network through an optical fiber and to the 5G network through a SIM card. The carrier's OSS BSS domain system called NCE to provision the side to cloud private line service. The Automate Guide Vehicle, or AGV, connects to the AP through Wi-Fi and communicates with the WMS through the CPE. After going through solution development, let's go back to the enterprise's application scenario. After an online buyer places an order in the order system, the order information is synchronized to the WMS on the cloud within 15 seconds. The WMS selects the warehouse based on the order, generates a picking bar code, and plan a picking route for the order. Then, the WMS delivers such information to the warehouse's AGV, which picks up goods along the picking route. During this period, the WMS on the cloud maintains communication with the AGV to synchronize order information, vehicle status, and vehicle route. Typically, after an order arrives, the AGV obtains the order information and picking route and then proceeds to pick goods. The AGV's route is correct, movement is smooth, and the goods are picked up correctly. Now, let's simulate a fixed network fault by removing the optical fiber used by the CPE to connect to the fixed network. 
As we can see, the WMIMS can still control the AGV. The AGV's route is still correct, movement is still smooth, and the goods are still picked correctly. We can also say that the network latency increases and the route has been switched to the 5G mobile network. However, the AGV still maintains communication with the WMS and the picking test is still ongoing. We can use NCE to view IFIT based hoop by hoop measurement data and network SLA for intelligent ONM. After the fault is rectified, we can check whether services are switched back to the stress based private network and whether these services are affected. Let's insert the optical fiber back into the CPE interface, wait for the way to restore time to elapse. We can see that the AGV is still in connect with the WMS, the AGV's route is correct, movement is smooth, and the goods are picked up correctly. The network has been switched back to the stress-based private network, and the latency recovers. During the switchback, the picking service remains unaffected. On NCE, we can see that the IFIT-based hoop-by-hoop measurement data and network SLA for intelligent ONM are normal, and the path on the stress-based private network is also normal. The preceding case shows that Huawei's intelligent cloud network solution for 5G FMC can ensure the continuity and SLA of high-value enterprise services. This solution not only enables the fixed and mobile networks to back up each other, but also allows service sharing, minimizing service pressure faced by the fixed network. Plus, this solution provides functions such as one-click service provisioning, automatically fill over and switch back, and intelligent ONM, delivering a high-quality service experience for enterprises. Unfortunately, we don't have time to demonstrate all of its functions today. For more details, please see the documents related to Huawei's intelligent cloud network solution for 5G FMC. That's all for today. Thank you.